Hi, and welcome to the video on how to set up an analysis for the Human Transcriptome Array. The Human Transcriptome Array analysis workflow consists of two different software packages available from Affymetrics. The first is Expression Console. Expression Console is used to produce the signal summarizations, and second as a quality control reporting tool to evaluate the performance of the arrays. For those arrays that have passed your thresholds and you're satisfied with, you move on to the Transcriptome Analysis Console or TAC software. Within TAC, you can evaluate differential expression of either genes or exons, and in, for the HTA array, you can also evaluate alternative splicing. In today's video, we'll be going over how you set up an analysis in the TAC software for each one of these analyses. The first thing to note is that the same three-step process is used for the gene, the exon, and the alternative splicing analysis. It's simple. The first step is to select the chip files you're interested in, which are the output of the Expression Console signal summarization. The second is to create the comparisons, or in other words, to assign the arrays to the various conditions. And the third is to actually run the analysis itself. Now I'll transition to uh, the TAC software itself, in which I'll be able to show you a live demo how to set up the analyses. When you launch the Transcriptome Analysis Console software, the TAC software, this is the page that you'll be first taken to. There are three tabs at the top, one for launching a new analysis. If you have existing analysis results you want to open, you can do that from here. And the third tab is the Preferences tab. In order to perform an analysis, you would simply select the button for the, representing the level of analysis you wish to perform. Before we do that, however, I'm going to take you on a short tour through the Preferences dialog. Here is the page that you need to use in order to obtain the necessary files to uh, process the arrays. At the top, you can define a library file folder. For me, I use the same folder that I use for my Expression Console so I don't have to have duplicate copies of my files on, the, on my system because some of the analysis files are shared between the Expression Console and TAC. Second, you see below that a list of the installed array types. So you can see for on my computer, I'm already set up to analyze several different array types. Down here a little bit lower is the download array type files. So if you click this button, it will take you to the NetFX um, site in order to download the files that are necessary to analyze whatever array you would like. So the steps are you enter your Affymetrics account uh, for NetFX or Affymetrics.com. If you do not have an account, you can click the Register Now button to sign up for one. After this is done, you'll see here in a second there's a pop-up that lists all of the expression arrays that are supported in TAC. Okay, and the ones that, you, that I've already downloaded, for example, the HTA array, are indicated as currently installed. Simply check a box and then hit the download button to download the files to your computer. The other thing that can be accomplished from the Preferences tab is to select the annotation files that you wish to use in order to perform the gene or the splice level analysis. If you're interested in adjusting the parameters associated with the alternative splicing algorithm, you can do so here. It is generally recommended that you leave them at the defaults, but if you are so inclined, here's where you can alter the definitions for eligible probe sets, definitions for when a gene is expressed, condition expression, and things like that. Now we'll return how to set up an analysis in the TAC software. So we go back to the New Analysis tab. For this, we'll set up an alternative splicing analysis. We'll click that button. As I said, the, the same three steps are required for all three types of analyses you can do here. The first is to import your data. So we'll select Import Data, navigate to the folder that contains your files. In this case, I've selected the HTA array, sample data available from Affymetrics.com. Now that your data is loaded here, I want to show you one neat feature that can be useful in trying to assign your individual files to the various groups. And this is the parse file names function. So if we click that button, what comes up is you'll see that the various sample file names have basically been parsed out into five separate columns based on the characters that you've put in here. So we've selected both a space character and an underscore, which splits up the file names into that, into the various attributes. 
You can then choose to select the ones you want. Let's keep attribute two. We'll get rid of three, it's the same. We'll get rid of five, and we'll say add attributes. And you can see now in this table, the attributes have been added. And then you can use these to sort on if you have sample information within the files, you want to use that in order to help you group your files for adding into the, the definitions. We'll go back to sorting by tissue. Okay, we'll select the first four from muscle. We'll go down here and click the plus to add them to it. We'll rename our condition. We'll select the second four files, which are from liver. Hit the plus. Rename the condition. If you had more conditions that you wish to investigate, you click the plus. It adds additional conditions, as many as you would like. You add the files into them as before. You'll note now that because we have two conditions without any files associated with them, we are not able to run an analysis. You have to have at least a single file in each condition in order for the analysis to be run. Down here at the bottom is the analysis file location. This is where the results file will be stored. You can change that with the browse button. Now that we have loaded our chip files and defined our conditions, it's possible for us to run the analysis, which we simply do by clicking this button. The analysis will proceed, and when it is complete, the results will be displayed. After the analysis is completed, the results table will be displayed. In this case, we have the summary table at the top and the transcriptome analysis visualization displayed at the bottom. For more information on the results, tune into the videos on how to do a gene level analysis and alternative splice analysis in TAC, also available from affymetrics.com. So in short, that ends our demonstration of how to set up an analysis. As I said, it's a really simple process. You load your chip files in, define your conditions, and hit run. Before I leave you, I'd like to point out some additional resources that are available on affymetrics.com. There's the NetEffects Analysis Center in which you can use to get information on the genes and probe sets on the various arrays. Other manuals and information include the Expression Console and Transcriptome Analysis Console software manuals, various white papers and data sheets, and other training videos related to Expression Console and Transcriptome Analysis Console. Thanks for your attention.